1919 minutes after 7 o'clock. Don't forget, coming up at uh, 7.30, I got a thousand miles to get somebody to pay their rent and qualify for them to live rent-free for an entire year. Log on to power1051fm.com. Keyword rent for details. And then coming up at 8 o'clock a.m., Powerhouse is back. October 28th is at the Izar Center. And I will announce the first few artists at 8 a.m. You don't want to miss that. Powerhouse is finally, finally back. Six years, and this is our, only our third powerhouse. <laughs> no, we only really have one. But we'll explain that to y'all later. One every three years. Yeah. <laughs> Why <laughs> not? Sense, right? <laughs> well, powerhouse is back. Um, Kim Osario is here. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. The book is called Straight from the Source. It's about your Straight whole from the source. tenure at the Source magazine. Yes. And uh, the sexual di- discrimination suit. Yes. That you brought against... Uh, well, there were four brought... claims. There were four claims. It's okay. important to note. There was sexual, dis- uh, gender discrimination, sexual harassment, retaliation, and defamation. A lot of legal stuff, I know. Yeah, okay. Well, explain it to some I mean, since you brought it up. Yeah, okay. Well, so the audience knows exactly what it is. Well, you... Uh, there's different claims. So you can get into a lot of them. Like, the retaliation is being fired. That was the claim I actually... Um, one on okay. that one in defamation. The retaliation is when you're fired for filing a complaint of gender discrimination because uh, discrimination, which includes harassment, mm-hmm. is uh, protected. You know, uh, 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 Title Seven of civil rights. See, like I'm of civil rights act of 1964. Now I'm going into all this legal stuff because right. it's jogging my memory. But um, employees can't discriminate on the basis of you know the protected class, right. race, gender, age, that sort of thing. Right. Not they cannot not. Uh not hire somebody or not promote somebody based on their race or their gender. Right. Well, I mean, like, there's a lot of things. The treatment of people has right. to, you know, all be equal. Right. Oh, well, wouldn't well, that be nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, oh, right? Yeah. What a concept. <laughs> wouldn't that? What a concept. Look at that. That would be very nice. Now, Peppa just recently came out with a book, and she wrote a book to shed light on domestic violence and to give the story of salt and pepper and their mm-hmm. breakup and the whole thing. And our mm-hmm. Faith just wrote a book also. Mm-hmm. And her book is to tell the story of Vicky. What's the purpose of you writing from this book? The purpose of, for me to write straight from the source is to give uh, the reader an inside view into what went down at the Source magazine. Mm-hmm. And to also understand from a woman's perspective, you know, how it is coming up in the game. Mm-hmm. You want more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this book, and we, you know, we deal with a lot of issues. And I like to say that one of the strongest themes in this book is the theme of the double standard in hip hop. Okay. What's the double standard in hip hop? I, I believe, just me, low me, just me. Okay. I believe that sometimes women are looked at differently than men, or women are not allowed to do the same type of things that men are allowed to do. Mm-hmm. And my book really delves into those issues. Do you think that's the reason why? Um from your perspective as a woman, that this is the reason why women find it so hard to sell records as a rap artist? I think I think it has something to do with that. I don't know if it necessarily, like, and I'm not in the business of selling records, you right. know, so I can't speak uh, to that as much as I can speak to my experiences mm-hmm. as I did in Straight From The Source. But I think that, yeah, that has a lot to do with it. You look at right now, there's not a lot of representations of women, whether it be behind the scenes or in front of the mic. Right, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a man-run thing. Male-dominated yeah, industry. Yeah, very male-dominated And it's industry. not just hip-hop. Like, I don't want to say it like I'm singling out hip-hop. That's the way of the world. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Like, women are always kind of thought of as an also-ran mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. You know, like, okay, let's uh, get this Republican ticket going in. Hey, let's bring the woman in. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like she was <laughs> Yeah, that was interesting, huh? Yeah, that was very <laughs> interesting. Especially right after Hillary didn't get the nod mm-hmm. from Barack. It's like... I got a woman. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you, you know, do you feel like that's, that's something that's been going on a lot? And how prevalent was that at The Source magazine? For me at The Source, I dealt with a lot of that, you know. Um, it was just a really tough time because I looked at things a lot like, wait, why am I being treated that way? Or why are you asking me these questions that you wouldn't necessarily ask a man? And Or it, would be asked, it wouldn't have been asked. It would have been said in a different manner. Maybe. To a man. Maybe. Like, yeah, I know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I that's you a different... those yeah, that's a different way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah, it is a different way of saying it. Yeah. It is. It'll be discussed. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's a different way of, of bringing things to light. So is this about your more your, it, it seems like the book is about your experiences at the Source Magazine, but also telling the story of the downfall 
it does delve into that. You know, a lot of people aren't really touching on the fact that there's a lot of the behind-the-scenes drama, and this was a very critical time in the magazine's history. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was what a lot of people say was defined as the downfall. Oh, yeah, of the it, was, it, was, oh, it was the downfall. That. Yeah. That magazine's not been the same since. I mean, yeah. they're trying to, you, you know. You said it. You said it. Mean. I say what I want to say. It's my show and nobody yeah. pays my bills. So, I mean, Londell and them is trying. Black, black. Yeah, you know, they're trying very hard to get it back right. to where it was. Right. But. The brand name is very strong. Let me say that. I think that growing up in the hip hop culture, I feel strongly about the brand. And that's part of the reason why I was so passionate about my time there. Mm -hmm. Like, the source is the only place where you go to work and you feel that strongly. At the end of the day, everybody has a boss, right? And the boss got to tell you what to do. Absolutely. But at the Source magazine, we were so passionate about documenting hip-hop culture that we always were, we, we were against things that we felt like were inherently wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were against the biases and stuff that, that came out later. Okay. Kim Osario is here. We got some more stuff to talk to Kim about, more about the downfall of the Source magazine and her experiences there. See, I love showing this power 105.